Gary's offense explodes, Sioux City walks off the Monarchs, and Josh Altman leads the dogs to a game one win. Welcome to the American Association Whip Around on this Saturday. An awesome start to five new series on Friday night. A lot of runs scored across the league, a little bit of everything. Let's start things off in Cleburne, game four of the six games set down south, and the Railcats took care of business early and often in this one. Bottom of the second, Jackson Valera here with a bases clearing double. This would be a nine run second inning for Gary. Later on in the eighth, up 15 to eight, Jesus Mariaga drives home three of his own. The Railcats score a season high 18 runs and win it 18 to nine. To Winnipeg, Goldhize and Red Hawks starting a new weekend set. Top of the second, runner on for Nick Novak, and he takes one deep out to right, a two-run shot, giving Fargo-Moorhead the early lead, and that was plenty for the governor. Kevin McGovern, an awesome start, seven shutout innings, two hits, five strikeouts for the big lefty. The Red Hawks start the series off with a 6 to nothing shutout win. To Lincoln, Cougars and Salt Dogs matching up for the first time at Haymarket Park. Bottom of the first, Nick Anderson goes down and gets one. A double off the wall, out and left, giving the Salt Dogs the early lead. Bottom of the third here, and check this play out by Galley Cribs Jr. Cue the Sports Center music. We'll slow this down, give you another look. One of the best plays we've seen this season in the infield. And he did that against Nate Sampson, but Sampson would have another shot. He brings home two with this two-run single. Lincoln wins the opener 9-4. to four. To Sioux Falls, and the Dockhounds and Canaries made some noise in their series opener. Bottom of the first, Darnell Sweeney brings home three with this blast out to right. There'd be plenty more of that to go around. 10-4, to four, Canaries lead in the sixth. Hunter Clannon. Deja vu, grand slam for the second day in a row. Lake Country scores sixth the ninth as well, but Sioux Falls wins 17 to 12. To Sioux City now, where the Monarchs and Explorers beginning a new series. Scott Ota here, a RBI single in the bottom of the fifth, giving the Explorers a three to nothing lead. Kansas City would storm back though, thanks to Han Hernandez. He is back in a big way. Four RBIs on the night, including this two run shot to give Kansas City the lead in the eighth, but things go south in the ninth, tied up at five, and a brutal hop out at second. The ball gets by into right field off the bat of Tyler Rando. Sioux City walks it off with a six to five win. Finally to Chicago, big matchup in the East Division between the Milkman and the Dogs. Top of the fourth, three nothing Milwaukee leads. Brian Torres brings home another one with this RBI single. The Milkman would take a five to nothing lead, but the Dogs had a comeback in them. Josh Altman gets it started with this two run double all the way to the corner in left. There was a rain delay to start this game and there would be a rain delay in the middle as well, but Josh Altman stayed hot during the break. This is a two run blast, his 18th of the season to bring Chicago within one. They would later tie it at six runs apiece and Matt Botcher just beats out the throw at first base. That's the game-winning run on the RBI single. Chicago wins it 7-6. Here's your final scores from an awesome Friday night. Gary takes a 3-1 series lead in Cleburne. The rest of the five series just getting underway. Tonight, we've got another full slate of action starting a little bit earlier tonight. We've got a 5.35 start in Sioux Falls. Most other games getting underway in that 6 p.m. window. And, of course, the 7.06 start in Cleburne. You can catch all the action tonight at aabaseball.tv or get your tickets through the AA Baseball app. I'm Matt Yazel for the American Association, where we play to win.